genuine friendships past the age of 25 just seems a little bit impossible to do hi you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel life with dario i am dario for anybody that is new and if you are new here i definitely hope you consider subscribing to this channel especially if you enjoyed today's video or any video that you'll see in the description box below don't forget to like and comment i hope you guys consider doing so but anyways you guys y'all heard me right friendships past the age of 25 genuine friendships I'm not just saying friendships because anybody can make a friend but do you have a genuine friendship with somebody it just literally feels like it's always just so impossible to do like okay I am past like I am literally in my late 20s and every time I say that or think about it it like literally hits me like a ton of bricks like oh but then again I have to remind myself it's a blessing to be even be able to see this age so I noticed for the last um, several years after the age of 25 that it just became significantly harder to actually make genuine friendships and keep those friendships now a lot of people like to say oh you can't have such high expectations of your friends which I think is false the reason why I say that because if you can have high expectations of me you know what to expect out of me you know no matter what if I'm your friend girl I'm gonna be there for you I'm gonna be loyal to you like I'm that type of friend but I cannot expect that same energy to be reciprocated then there's something wrong here people like to say that when you set such high expectations for people that's when you get hurt and it is true and over the years I've learned that that's why I don't have any genuine friendships so for the last several years since I graduated college I've been trying to make friends and it finally dawned on me and it finally hit me that when I try to figure out why is it I'm not making any friends or any genuine friendships that have some sort of longevity to it first things first is it was easier for me to make friends when I was in elementary middle school high school and college I was around these people all the time people were more eager and excited to actually build relationships and bonds with people because at that time you were exploring to see if you were going to find your forever people however the difference is when you finally turn 25 and you're 25 26 or up is that people already have their well-established friendships so me being somebody new to the friend group I'm always hesitant about okay do I really want to try to join this friend group because sometimes people don't want other people some people are strictly settled on the fact that these are my people they're my forever people I'm good we don't need nobody else new to the party but for people like me who's trying to branch out and have friends to go out with, friends to like elevate with, friends that don't compete, it's just been so hard for me. It literally feels like a lot of times some people have, you know, some alternative motives when they become your friends. People will see you as competition, especially if they start seeing you accomplish things that they wanted to accomplish, but they see that it's not happening on their time frame. Like, you just have to be very careful of that. Like, I'm at a point in my life where I'm kind of scared to make friends, y'all. And it's not that I don't want to and it's not that I don't have people that I'm cool with or people that I'm close to but I want to kind of extend my friend group like I don't want a big friendship group however I do want friends that like I can be like oh girl let's go travel somewhere or, or I'm even open to male friendships but like oh let's go travel somewhere or friends where it's like if you're winning I'm sitting there showing up for you if I'm winning you're sitting here showing up for me friends where we're going to like empowerment brunches together you know where we can learn with each other friends that when i'm going through tough times that i can rely on them and they can rely on me it's just so hard to build that once you get to a certain age it, it i don't even know why it, it's just like damn don't nobody want a friend anymore like and don't get me wrong i have i always say this to people i will never get on camera i would never say to nobody in person that i have always been the best friend in my entire life no i haven't some friendships i have always said this i have definitely ruined on my own i have definitely learned from that um and for the people that i could apologize to i have apologized to them and you just have to live to move on and move forward do i wish sometimes that i didn't mess up some of those friendships yeah 100 percent. because then i wouldn't be going through what i'm going through right now of like trying to make friends and also another big fear factor is i don't go out <laughs> i don't go out so like mainly the only time i go out is if i go out with my fiance but i'm learning to also start incorporating like going out with my little sister she's my little sister y'all so she's like younger than me so it's like where i'm at mentally right now in life she's at like two different spaces right now and you know she's gonna get to she may eventually get to that point but right now where i'm at is like a little bit different but i'm learning to build a bond and relationship with her so that in the you know that 
we can go out and do some of these things because sometimes, and I have to realize too, sometimes you don't need a friend group. Sometimes you already have the people around you that you want to do these things with. So that's why I like with my sister, I'm learning to, you know, hang out with her a little bit more and spend some more time with her. But she also already has her own friend group as well. You get what I'm saying? So it's like for me, like I'm your sister. Yes, but you already have your friend group. So during those times where you and I can't hang out with each other, I need to also have friend groups. And it's just kind of like i don't know y'all like i do have like friend trauma not only just because of what i've done like i haven't done like no devious like crap to people as far as like why our friendships ended but um i've had people do stuff to me and that's kind of like why i am very cautious about when it comes to meeting people and getting to know them because i I don't know what you're like and now I'm at a point in my life where when people say oh well I give people the opportunity to show me why I shouldn't trust them I stop doing that because if I wait to give you that opportunity you're probably gonna take it and I'm trying to learn and not penalize everybody that I meet um, for past situations because you cannot do that that literally would get you so hurt in life if you continuously keep doing that and that will keep you from making genuine bonds with people so it's like I don't know like now at the age of you know 28 i have to be very intentional about my friendships with people making time for those friendships and sometimes i also hold myself back from like making more friends is because it's like do i have the mental capacity to take on another person because when you are friends with somebody that's basically a whole other relationship that you're starting with somebody and i'm the type of person where if i'm your friend I'm your friend. There is literally, you ain't gotta, if something's wrong, I will be there for you if I'm able to make it to you. I will show up for you if I'm able to show up for you. And if I cannot, I will always tell you why. So it's like, for me, I'm like, do I have the mental capacity to do that for somebody else? And to be quite frank with you guys, I really don't. And that's why it's just kind of like, I've been kind of hesitant where it's like, maybe I'll have, cause I, okay. So you know how they say there's those high class friends, those high, um, high energy friendships there's those low like oh high maintenance friendships low maintenance friendships i'm a middle maintenance friendship so i don't want to hear from you every day i don't need to hear from you every day because life we got all got life going on however it's like boo check in with me at least once a week or twice a month something check in with me like you get what i'm saying like let's hang out at least once a month or once every other month like that's the type of so that's why i say i'm a medium friendship because a low maintenance friendship is basically where we can spend several months without talking or seeing each other and just pick right back up but i realize over life it's like i want something more valuable than that just because i haven't spoken to you in a while we can see each other and catch up all the time doesn't mean nothing like, I want friendships where it's a little bit more to that. Like, let's talk, let's hang out, let's plan to do stuff together. You know, it's like stuff like that. So it's like, I don't know. Friendships now is a lot different than friendships back in the day. It was just always easier because you were going more places. You were going to school. You might have been going to family friends functions. You were going to the park. So you were always able to meet people during those times. But when you become an adult, it's a little bit different because for a lot of us, we're not going out. Because for one, I can't lie to you, when you get to a certain age, going out just seems like such a tedious task that we do not talk enough about. Like when I have to put on my makeup, do my hair, pick out an outfit, all of that, that just, it, it's so much for me. So if you mean to tell me I have to sit there and get ready, go get dressed, find somewhere to go, and then sit and hope that somebody talks to me or sit and hope that I find somebody interesting, that's just too much. I'd rather just sit in my house or go out with the people that I know. And I know, y'all, I gotta, like, really branch out. But it's, like, so scary because some people look mean. And some of the things that I have been hearing about people nowadays with these new friendships when they try to go out and branch to make friendships, it is scary. And I'm, I'm trying to always remind myself that just because that's somebody else's story doesn't mean that it's going to be everybody else's story in the world. But yeah, y'all. I don't know. If some of y'all have great friend gr friendship groups, let me know some tips or suggestions you have for somebody who kind of wants to make friends but doesn't really want to make friends right now because I'm working on myself. I'm also planning a wedding, as y'all know. Like, I just have so much going on that I don't want to be a bad friend to somebody. Like, 
and I definitely don't want a high maintenance friend. You feel like I gotta see you every day of the week, or I gotta talk to you every day. Like that's I cannot deal with no high maintenance friend right now. And I don't want a low maintenance friend where it's like we spent several months not talking to each other because I don't know none of the important things that's going on in your life. Like as far as like if you have something going on you're not coming to talk to me about it i can't be a support system for you or if you have something good going on i won't know about it unless i see it on social media so it's like i'm at a point in my life where it's like yes i want friends but i also want to make sure that i have the mental capacity to be somebody's friend because like i said being somebody's friend is like basically being in a relationship with somebody else like don't start a friendship with somebody if you're not willing to put the time energy and effort and do not start a friendship with somebody if you're only taking, 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 and not giving nothing back in return. I'm telling you now, it literally does nothing but waste both of y'all time. Y'all go end up a story time on somebody's TikTok if TikTok is still around. It's just so much of just, I don't know. The takeaway from this video is when you are ready to make friends, make friends do not force yourself into the friendship scene make sure you have the mental capacity energy and time to be somebody's friend know what type of friendship you actually want from somebody do you want a high maintenance friend or do you want a low maintenance friend or do you want somebody like me that's in the middle where i don't really want to talk to you as much like i'm not as needy but i also still want you to be there enough for the both of us and make sure when you do start a friendship you let people know what your expectations are people are not mind readers people cannot say like oh this is what's bothering her this is what she expects out of the friendships people will never know if you do not tell them so that's why it is so important before you start any type of relationship with somebody to let them know what your expectations are ask them what their expectations are of you and go with that never give nobody your full meat potatoes all that don't never give them a full thanksgiving meal give them appetizers first so that they can see so that you're not being taken advantage of because a lot of times people will take 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 in these friendships and never reciprocate that energy and that's the part that gets you hurt yes life happens life happens to people sometimes life can just be a lot for some people and if they can't be there for you and they tell you that, you can't get mad at them about that. But if they just disappear, ghost you, no reason, no nothing, then it's like, and you try to reach out and they're just shutting you out. I don't know. You got to figure out, is that friendship of value to you? So like I said, figure out what you want out of somebody as far as a friendship goes. Find what works for you. Don't listen to nobody online because what might work for somebody else online may not work for you. And never be afraid to explore and branch out. And don't minimize yourself if you're a female to only have a female friends, or if you're a male only having a bunch of like male friends or whatever. You never know who can end up being your best friend, or you never know. You may not need any friends. You may be one of the few people that really only need like family and their partner you never know i know a lot of people like to say oh well you need friends to be honest with you if you're close with your siblings that's damn near like having a friendship right there on its own so who knows but i hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time my beautiful people peace